And I'm out. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Emgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Bombshell! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. Right up front, we got Bombshell looking all bombshelly. Legacy Evolution! He is a Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe Class, Class Deluxe Transformers! On this side of the box, we have the lovely Legacy artwork. On this side, we have a nice image there of bombshell love the artwork on this packaging up top we have the qr code you want to scan it free scan on me you're welcome on the bottom words things barcodes on the back of the box you have your obligatory product shots evo fusion and that's basically it for the packaging and moving right along, here we have Bombshell, the last of our deluxe Insecticons. And here he is in his robot mode. He is packed in robot mode. But let's get in close here so we can take a look, not at those abs, but at that noggin. Oh, there it is. It's, it's a nice bombshelly noggin going on here. Lots of nice silver. You can get some gold in there. Nice bright red for the eyes. You can take the section and peel it all the way back if you want to. If you want that nice, clean, bald look. Hey, things you can do if you want to do it. But per the instructions, they want to just kind of sit right here. It does have thooping points. So this has, has a natural stopping point there, natural stopping point there, and then for the alt mode. But they want it in this position. But as always, it is yours. Display it however you wish. But of course, you have a nice Decepticon symbol right there, front and center. You got the trans clear and plastic for the chest with some silver. And Decepticon symbol front and center. Looks really nice. And a nice shade of purple. And you got the gray and black for the rest of his body. We do have some nice details molded in throughout. Little toesies. Get some red and white stripage there on the sides. Moving up the back, you get some nice metallic blue with some gold as well. The bombshell booty. Really not much to speak of on the bacular region. Just this little flap, which is kind of confusing. It's a confusing little flap, but... <laughs> there you have that. Now, articulation-wise... Um, the head can only rotate. You get side to side movement, and you, it is limited because these shoulder pieces get in the way. So that's pretty much all the side to side that you're going to get on him. Arms can do a full 360. They can move in and out. These legs, as you can see, can move out of the way to accommodate the movement. Uh, due to transformation, the shoulders can move back if you need them to. Things you can do if you want to do it. You have bicep rotation, single jointed elbow, but you get over 90 degrees of bend. Um, you don't get any wrist rotation, just inward movement due to transformation. You got waist movement, waist rotation. Legs can go forward that far, back that far, outward. He can do the full splits. You got thigh rotation, 90 degrees of knee bend. And as far as the feet go, um, they can't really move up just due to this stuff right on top of it, but they can move down. And you also so get some, some ankle tiltage. Now, as far as accessories go, he just includes his blaster here, just cast in silver. Very reminiscent of his G1E blaster, and you can plug that into his hand so he can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang, and all that good stuff. Now, you do get some extra accessories as well. You do get these pieces, which serve as the bug mode legs, but you can remove these if you want. You can hold these as handheld weapons as well, or you can do the Evo Fusion, which is to take these and plug these onto, you know what, you just lay there. <laughs> Plug these onto, get up man! Plug these onto either side of the gun like so, and make like a triple blaster. You can have that going on. Things you can do if you want to do them, but me personally, I like to just leave them attached to the forearms, thusly and thusly. And you can aim them forward, and guess what? Guess what? You know what? You know what? You know what? We all know what. All of these are blush compatible. Yes, they are blush compatible. Oh, yes. We can plug one here. We can plug one 
right here you can drop that hey you know what you know what dude you know what dude you need to cooperate you need to learn how to cooperate teamwork makes the dream work don't you know that don't you of course you do you're part of a team you should know this you're the leader of the team but we can plug all three of these in and do a big old triple bomb shelling yes ah so there you have that, and now for Gambarus Hunt! Here he is with the, uh, Combiner Wars bombshell. And here he is with G1 bombshell, because he's precious, oh, so precious. Here he is with Megs, just so you can see how that works out. And here he is with his two buddies reunited and it feels so good and they look quite good together. A nice set of deluxe Insecticons right here. So and there you go. So that is basically it for the robot mode. Now, one little curiosity. They, they did this to kickback also. Um, if you look at this chest... You can see, like, there's a hinge here. They ran a pin through it and everything, but it's not really a hinge. It doesn't, this serves no purpose. It's just to give you that faux, you know, kind of diclone effect here because it's not for an ab crunch. The chest doesn't open. Like, it's just, it's just there to be there because reasons. I don't know. It's weird. They did that to kick back also, but I don't know. It's a weird choice, but it's a choice they made. But anyway, let's get down to transformation, shall we? Let's. The first thing we're going to do is take his hands and flip them in. And we can take these bug legs here. We'll just rotate these down. Once that is done, you're going to take the arms and just swing them to the back. Like so, they do thoop into place. You want to rotate the forearm here at the bicep. So, those bug legs are in that orientation. You want to take this section and bring it down. There's a little tab slot connection here. It doesn't tab in all the way. It just kind of sits in there. It's more a suggestion than anything else. You can straighten that out. And this little flap thing, again, this is kind of confusing. I think this is supposed to sit up like that for bug mode, I guess. I don't know. The instructions make no mention of this piece, so I'm guessing there. So once that is done, you take the waist, rotate it 180, and now we work on the lower body. So now we're going to flip down his toes. We're going to open up this panel right here, right from the legs, and now we can collapse the legs up on this double hinge. Collapse it up all the way. Collapse this up all the way. You can then tab the two halves together. And you have a tab slot connection that will happen right in here. So just kind of push that up. And that will just sit in there nice and flush like that. And last thing that we need to do is there's a little tab right here that will go into a slot right there. There's also a tab here that will go into a slot on this panel here. So just kind of line up, line up this tab first and then just kind of push in this panel. And you should get everything. There we go. And everything should just kind of sit flush in there like that. Second verse, just like the first. Just line all of this stuff up. There we go. And that should just drop into place. Get all nice and squozen like. And there you go. There you have Bombshell in his alt mode. Not a bad spin. Could be better, but there you go. There is Bombshell in his alt mode. And it's Bombshell's alt mode. That's that's Bombshell's alt mode, all right. <laughs> you know, it works. I mean, this is this is how he looks in the cartoon and all that, so it works for me. But we're getting close here, so we can take a look at the details. Of course, all of this we've already seen, just in a slightly different configuration. You got the big spot of yellow right there. You got those red and white stripes. Guys, little... Little buggy legs now. And toesies. <laughs> toesies hanging out the back. <laughs> but again, it's how Bombshell works. And there is the top. There is the bottom. He slides like bug slide. Hooray for sliding bugs. 
And for comparison, here he is with the Combiner Wars bombshell. With G1 bombshell because he's precious, oh so precious. And here he is with his Insecticon brethren. So you can see how that works out. And one thing I just now realize, I did not, I literally just now realized this, is that Bombshell and Shrapnel here have the exact same uh, lower body. They reused the lower body for these two. It's the same mold. It's the exact same mold. Same feet. Same crotch. Basically the same, like, they just reused the lower body for these two. Eh. Go figure. But... <laughs> There we have our Insecticon trio, and they do look quite, quite good together, so. And there you go. Now, as far as articulation in bug mode here, this section can move up and down. These front legs can move up and down. They do lock into place once you push them up. These can rotate outward if you want. You can have a little bit of, like... That going on, things you can do if you want to do it. That is pretty much everything that moves in bug mode. Um, as far as accessories go, yes, you can store the weapon in bug mode, and it's just a case of plug it into one of these two ports, and that is pretty much it. There is your storage. And an extra bluish point here, just to mention, is uh, right there. You can plug that in. You can bluish there also. Bluish! So there you have a Bombshell, and uh, yeah, nice to finally finish up the uh, Deluxe Insecticons here. They do look quite good together. The robot mode looks good, the bug mode looks as good as Bombshell's bug mode has ever looked, which is not really all that good, but hey, it's keeping with tradition. Didn't realize how much of Shrapnel it reuses. It also reuses the, uh, the forearms and the hands. Those are also reused from Shrapnel. But still, it works, and I am happy to finally finish off the Insecticon boys here, so there you go. Now, I picked this up from Robot Kingdom, but you can also get legacy figures from BigBadToyStore.com, as always, linked in the description down below, so you can check that out. You can also check out the legacy playlist for any reviews you may have missed, also linked in the description down below, so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Love, Peace, Paranormal, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Transformers Legacy Evolution Deluxe Class Bombshell, and this is MGo saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud! Bomb in your face. Ah, uh, bombshell! Took you long enough, where have you been? No, oh, stuck in traffic. That seems to happen a lot. Where are the other two? No, oh, they're just around bugging people. I see what you did there. It's a good one, huh? No! You're supposed to be the smart one. Well, I just... No!